Hello everybody and welcome to a new series. In this series we're gonna focus on learning how to build a tower defense game. Similarly to uh, a lot of games and one in particular is Plants vs Zombies. I'm sure you guys heard of it, played with it, it's an amazing game. So I've got a lot of quests of building uh, and like just people asking me to build uh, you know tower defense games and teach us how to do it so what's better than mimicking this legendary game so in this episode I'm gonna just talk about what we need in terms of assets we're gonna learn how to build a game that's similar to this tower uh, defensive game plants vs zombies I don't have a title yet but uh, I got I, I search online to get the like decent assets and then I found these three assets which we're gonna use they're free on the unity asset stores you can find them in uh, below in the description you can find the links for them basically we're gonna have this asset to be used as the environment because it's uh, the game is gonna be top-down not platformer so I'm gonna use most of these elements as uh, the environment and it's gonna be uh, like humans versus plants uh, sorry versus animals it's it's gonna be these characters pro probably away from this guy I want to get somebody who's not animal and the other people other side will be basically uh, hu uh, animals so I found also this asset called Sunnyland forest gameplay it has as it says it has like a uh, three different anime enemies which is more than enough I need two maybe three max so we're gonna use three animals as uh, enemies and uh, um, and three of these people as towers and the shooting items we can use anything honestly like, uh, like this guy will shoot apples as one will shoot uh, spikes and this one will uh, throw anything it, it, like, I'm sure we can find elements which we can use as bullets but these three uh, these three assets are mainly going to be used in the game if we get to use more stuff along the way which i suspect but nevertheless if we do we will I'll, I'll add the links in the description also so we can use these three to implement in our unity project and of course uh, just created a new project with these assets imported in here as you can see the backyard pixel adventure and Sunnyland Force Assets and uh, the whole idea is uh, gonna be summarized in a lot of steps but I'm gonna try to make them simple first of all we're gonna learn how to um, spawn items you know spawn the characters these ones so we're gonna have some sort of a grid of floor or forest or anything it depends on the level and uh, that floor we're gonna learn in an episode how to tile map it build the whole system for example we'll build three levels for example one of them is gonna be the f f like the backyard or the uh, like the grass floor and the second one will be used uh, as uh, let's say uh, you know like a dirt kind of a flooring the other one can be done probably like street so we'll have multiple levels uh, in which we're going to explain in the uh, UI and level design tutorial. The second thing is going to be uh, spawning these elements. But before actually getting the elements created, we're going to create the spawning mechanics in which we'll have a UI from which we're going to select, like here. We're going to have three towers. Each will have its own element uh, a picture and, of course, the cost. And then we click on it and press anywhere on here that has nothing built on we're gonna spawn it and the third thing is we're gonna implement the uh, what I'm gonna say the currency in the game and here they have sunshine every time you kill an enemy you get a sunshine sorry every time you put this kind of a uh, sunflower it gives you a sunshine every you know I don't know 10 seconds or 15 depends we're gonna uh, come up with a probably similar, maybe different way of getting currency. 
but this one will also cover it in the uh, currency in the I'm gonna, I'm gonna say currency for now but we'll come up with a name later and the next thing will be um, creating the uh, the tower script for example each one of them will have their own cost and their own way of uh, attacking some of them will shoot straight ahead some of them will flat will throw things off you know and some of them uh, for example like this one is gonna give us income we're gonna cover up uh, multiple uh, ones like uh, the simplest towers that we can use in the game to make it working for example one will give income one will shoot for example straight the other one will let's say uh, will shoot like like uh, I forgot what was the plant name it shoots some, some kind of a like a piece of wood that goes all the way and back and it hits everybody we'll come up with a lot of stuff some of them are like armor like this one so we'll decide on three items uh, three types of towers and then we'll implement them and the shooting mechanics we've already built it before I'm gonna use that or other other stuff the next thing will be is the enemies so it's gonna it's gonna be different than towers because these enemies basically they're gonna have uh, a walking mechanics or I'm gonna say like approaching mechanics, which will for example some of them will walk slowly, some will walk quickly, and uh, they're gonna have a H like health bar, probably not health bar visible but health count. For example, uh, this one will take him. Uh, three hits to die, this one will take him five hits, this one will take him two hits it's all up to us and uh, of course whenever any of those come into an, a plant in this game um, he actually hits it, like he, he, he performs like a eating mechanics like animation we'll also implement this in the sense that uh, whenever uh, the enemy touches something it performs the killing animation and the, the plant has its own HP of course like for example this one requires uh, three hits to die and etc with this we'll have uh, the spawning the currency the towers the enemies and then what's what's left will be it's gonna be just the um, the whole game manager uh, you know connected in a sense that uh, the game starts and there'll be a timer and then how many a enemies do we spawn how difficult will it, be, will it be and then of course there will be some sort of a like a boss wave and there can be like three waves and then uh, like four waves and fifth will be a boss this will will cover in the uh, in the whole game manager tutorial and along with this uh, we might also need to build the uh, the UI of course like the UI will have its the UI element will be built along the way with each story for example we're gonna build the UI of the towers selection along with spawning and then other stuff for example the currency we might build uh, the menu and the uh, switching between levels so all these things can be built will be built uh, along the way uh, we might build other stuff uh, upon request uh, I have different uh, thoughts in my head right now for example uh, <clears throat> let's say uh, you know switching between levels automatically maybe main menu uh, splash screen maybe all this stuff but we'll see how the tutorial goes on because it, this, this story is supposed to teach you how to build the game um, and I guess building the menu and this stuff there are mo mostly generic stuff and then uh, if required we'll do them it's not a big deal but the whole idea is to build the uh, base structure of the game and from it you can uh, expand uh, extend make it bigger more levels more difficult etc I guess uh, that's all I can say for this introduction we're gonna have a blast I'm really excited about building this one uh, after actually seeing all the uh, support from you guys and uh, the exposure that I get from uh, all the people uh, from the previous series which I think is not closed it's just I ran out of ideas like I ran out of mechanics 
it's mostly complete but uh, I'm, I would create other uh, videos if there's more of a serious requests and of course uh, any requests feedback or anything just uh, post it in the comments below apart from that you can join our discord channel to uh, speak with me directly or with other developers or creators there or just a small uh, community there and uh, also you can uh, donate money using the PayPal link in the bottom or and uh, I think I'm gonna stop it here and uh, it's gonna be an exciting tutorial series I'm ready I'm, I'm more than ready to start this one because this was one of my favorite games <laughs> and uh, I guess that's it uh, thank you for watching hit the like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye bye